From the Eldersburg.net studios in downtown Eldersburg, the town that's unabashed, underwhelmed, and unincorporated, it's Eldersburg Lounge! Hi everybody, Ron Riley back again on the Eldersburg Lounge. We are here, of course, on Eldersburg.net. Around here all the time, you can just kind of click on and here we are. And here we are right now with a lady we'd like to introduce you to. You know, if you've ever said to yourself, and everybody does, gee, how can I do something about that? Well, this is a lady that does something about everything. <laughs> She's a professional volunteer and her name is Ellen Vicks. Ellen, welcome. Thank you. What's going on in your life? Everything. Yeah, I, a lot, a lot. Try to keep busy. Her, her primary occupation right now, well, she's retired actually. She worked for a CEO in Baltimore at a big company for a long time as administrative assistant. And then, uh, you know, said, hey, there's a lot of stuff to be done, especially here in good old Eldersburger. You know, we are a bedroom community. You realize that. But we're unincorporated as well. And mm -hmm. this lady with her organization is the liaison between us and the outside world. You know, it's kind of a parallel dimension thing. <laughs> Tell us all about the Freedom Area Council. Well, the Freedom Area Citizens Council started when the massive buildings started here in Eldersburg when water came in. And a group of concerned citizens got together. And uh, since it was unincorporated, they formed a Better Solutions for South Carroll. Mm -hmm. That evolved into the Freedom Area Citizens Council. Uh, their mission was to uh, advocate and inform. Mm -hmm. And here we are 18 years later and still doing the same mission. Okay, what do you advocate? What do you inform on? What advocate and inform? Well, uh, some of the things that uh, we've worked on recently have been uh, when they were building uh, Liberty Exchange. Uh -huh. And the citizens in that area were concerned and they contacted us. So we contacted the owners and the architects and had a meeting for them all to get together and talk about you know, what their concerns were and try to work through them. If you'd like to find a little bit more about the organization, you can go to their website, which is? FreedomAreaCitizens.org. Dot org, Dot org. okay. Yes. Yeah. And I think that uh, We've been informed by, we work closely with Center Street uh -huh. and the commissioners. Mm -hmm. uh, if the citizens come to us, I mean, I get phone calls everywhere, and from uh, why is that tarp on that roof <laughs> to, you know, the man doesn't mow his grass. And why, yeah. is, and why is that big lot at 32 and Liberty Road still vacant? I mean, the <laughs> sign looks nice there. Welcome to Eldersburg. You know, it's got the black eyed Susan. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate you bringing that up. I was going to bring that up later, but since you brought that up, I think that is uh, part of the things that Freedom Area Citizens Council does for a better South Carroll. Mm -hmm. I think that it defines us. Uh, I, that was the only place we could put it because it was state property, but at least we have it. It was unfortunate that some people felt a need to take it down and hide it under brush. <laughs> it was missing for a while. Yes, it was. I wondered about that. I uh, yeah, I, gotta I, say, change the, sound, the name of the town. Don't do that. <laughs> I tried to avoid that corner until Did it got put back. Did they hold it for ransom or yeah. anything? <laughs> no, no. They, we were lucky it was found, and it's back up again, and the lighting is on, and uh, the board has written a letter to the newspaper uh, informing the uh, citizens to keep an eye out on it, because it is their sign. That was the most exciting thing since the fire station burned down, I think. <laughs> 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 well, that depends. It wasn't for me. <laughs> it wasn't the fire station either. It was an adjacent building. Yes. Anyway, uh -huh. well, briefly, in the time of allocated us here, mm -hmm. tell, tell me about some of the other things you volunteer on as a, as a person who volunteers, and what a thing to do in retirement. Well, I, I was raised that you have to give back. Mm -hmm. You can't always be taken. And uh, my grandmother was real firm on that. Mm -hmm. So I volunteer at Springfield Hospital. I sit on the board down there. And uh, I used to volunteer. I put a lot of years of volunteering into the girls' shelter, which the state closed down. Right. Uh, I sit on uh, the committee that's working for the county expo. I sit on the board at the senior center. Wow. Um, I volunteer at two addiction and alcohol uh, treatment centers. 
uh, at Christmas, uh, a group of us got together about six years ago and did six stockings. And that has involved into over 150 Christmas stockings a year now. In wrapping up, we talk so much about uh, your advocacy. Um, what about spare time? Do you, do you do anything? Do you have any hobbies? Do you, do you read any books? Or what? <laughs> I, I used to be a big reader at work because I would read at lunch. But uh, we enjoy going to the concerts that they have in Westminster. Mm -hmm. uh, the council, uh, Carroll Community has up there. Sure. And I'm on that board, I just, I'll just i start that next month. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, we, we enjoy the movies, mm -hmm. we enjoy going out to dinner. Good, well, and we enjoyed having you here. Well, thank you for thank having us. Thank you so very us. much. It's Alan Dix. Uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to her and seeing what numerous things she has on her plate all the time. <laughs> I hope you keep a good calendar, and I'm sure you do. Thank you for being with us. It's Eldersburg Lounge. It's eldersburg.net, where you are. My name's Ron Riley. Good to be with you, and we'll see you again soon.